My friends, welcome back to this uh, Stellaris uh, complete guide. I'm Daily Fix. Thank you all for tuning back in. Um, now we last time had uh, the opportunity to start work on our new colony, and we are doing so in four years' time. Actually, yes, in three years' time, it will be finished. Now, what I hope is that we will find a new colonizable world by the time this one is done. And we probably just discovered something over here. What is it? You, are you actually a state? Oh, wow. This is already claimed. Yeah, look at this. A colonized world. There is an enemy in this system. Hmm. This is going to be extremely important. We are going to be taking all of these. Just to make sure that we can actually get a uh, a base up in here. Now, is there something special about this system? No. There are systems that are having special features. But we'll get to those as soon as we do. These guys, they might be our friends. They might be our enemies. One thing is certain. With the discovery of alien life comes defense. We are going to need to focus a bit on our fleets. And I was hoping it would not have to go this fast, this soon. I was kind of hoping at year 15. But what can you do? Uh, not as much. But we are going to beeline for this system immediately. And this will eventually have a starbase. And that starbase will keep them from attacking us for... Uh, a number of time for a number of years um, but we are, because we are all playing on Grand Admiral and the scaling is off they will have way more than I'm having <coughs> have one fleet oh wait can we see it no out of us uh, our ships can't make any anything about it so are we just immediately doing this look at all of these anomalies that this guy is going to be doing because he's going back Investigate will take us 19 months and we will get influence from that. So you can choose to do that. But this 19 months will prevent this guy from researching for 19 months. And that that's too much. That is way too much. I'm already very happy that I made the decision to go into blue lasers and coil guns. Because those are the tier 2 weapons or for our ships, making our ships just a tiny bit stronger. Let's on pause. He will go out of this territory for sure. Uh, you're still surveying, which is okay. Let's just say you go move there with shift. After your jobs, you will move into this system. Anomaly this down. is going to be off limits. There is almost... No way. This is the Dudley Stutter, right? So, research. There's no way that we can do anything in this territory until we uh, manage to get in there. Now, <clears throat> still haven't found another planet. He will benefit to that as well. Uh, I think there was a construction ship or a science vessel. And what is this? Another 31. It's military power. What has 36 on military power? And it is probably your ships. Our military power has 43. Meaning he's probably running a point defense ship. I, I'm hoping he, he is. Actually, if we discover them, I'm hoping that we can actually see what he's doing. But they, these guys are moving out. So this is a regular station. As you can see over here. Like this one, our main planet. I'm not sure if this is their capital planet. That would be so cool if they decide to go into this direction instead of going towards us. Uh, scientist Dom Baldwin has uh, moved up. Uh, there's another thing. Translated alien mural. Where is that? Is this with... Um yeah, this is with Dudley, Dudley Stutter. Now, let's pause it for a second. We have a new uh, research opportunity. A naval capacity from soldier jobs. Your soldiers will provide you with naval capacity. And 
you will not have too many soldier jobs early on. So getting to this one, it's nice for the defensive army, but if you already need defensive army damage, uh, there is something wrong. Yes. Food from farmers by 20%. It is quite nice. Uh, it will just say you will need less farmers to sustain your empire, making it so you can generate more energy or more minerals out of every planet. So it's quite nice. And we have tile blockers. Tile blockers are great, but I'm going here for the, uh, for the food bonus. Because if I don't have to spend my population into farming jobs, I'll definitely want to have them on energy. Because our energy is going to be rather low uh, for the time being. Uh, looking at energy, let us sell 500 minerals. And we're going to this planet. System Remember that tile blocker? Completed. We are going to generate a new population. And we have surveyed a um, the, a planet. This this could be the, uh, the terrain that we uh, had to go into. For that one, um, the hunt. But we already uh, have it. There's one more system that we have to explore. This is already the second step, by the looks complete. of it. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, also, this system has just been added. There wasn't that this system wasn't there. And he's already moving out now. We did discover this system. We're not going into it any further. Like I said, we we don't. We don't like other species. Let's build the mining stations. And uh, we are definitely making sure we get the hell out of there. We don't want to piss them off too much. You are now without a job. So we're going to be right clicking saying do the research anomaly. Then do the research anomaly. The archaeological site I'll do later. Now with those two done. Hold sh uh, still press the survey button. Hold shift. Go there. Here. 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 Yeah, and then move inwards. Another scientist is most likely going to be inwards and then outwards. For you, you are surveying this system. Now, if you hold Control and Shift, right click over here. Um, actually, right click, Control and Shift. This will move the translating alien mural at the top of the list. As you can see over here with order orders. Uh, it used to go at the back of the list, but holding control and shift will move it upwards. So he's going to be investigating the, uh, the alien mural and then surveying the rest of the system. I think there's definitely a planet in there. Hmm. Now, I'm not going to upgrade my ships until we get those uh, weapons. There's no point in doing it. Yes, there's, sure, there's something that changed here because we can upgrade. But uh, I don't think that is going to be necessary. Yeah, this this might change a bit. Complete. Let's do it another. Yeah, it we'll just go for armor damage. If we could see these guys, if we could see that, we could already start work on what kind of ships that we would like. If they do not close borders, I will just send in a ship just to take a look at what kind of ships they are running. It's important. Now, like I said, I want to be focusing um, my efforts on more alloys. That means that these two guys are going to be working our alloy foundry. Because that's two med magical logical jobs. We'll um, lower our mineral income by 12. And it will dip our energy in the future a tiny bit. But the next guy is going to be a generator district. So for now... I'll choose to go with alloys. Why? Because they sell higher than consumer goods. And, well, why not, right? Alloys we need for ships. Hey, we just found another alien empire. We definitely want to make sure we have something that uh, will guard us towards those. Uh, he's surveying our system. Which is fine. He will be pushed out. Also, we, uh, we could choose to upgrade this starport i'm actually i'm not going to right now but communication just has been established with this faction and you can see this is their border this is their capital and this wasn't so they are generating ships over here they have three stations let's click it oh that boy they will hate me let's say alien scum Blah. hate them hate them already let's pause here 
This is their territory. By clicking them, you'll see that they are overwhelming. We are on Grand Admiral, scaling is off, they had a plus, and they were building military vessels. For sure. Did the border close? Can we look into that? If we send them in right now, what will happen? Will you close your borders? I'm hoping that I can have a sneak peek in there and that there is a ship. Um, wow. The alien mural is quite nice. Look at this. Add society, uh, physics as well as engineering to that system. Making it really strong. So let's make sure that this guy, that we are in here as soon as he jumps, jumps in. Um, leave it for now. Now you can see your ship getting in away um, from the outer rim as soon as it's heading. You'll see like a, a, a white warp signature, so to say. Oh, closed borders. Bastards. I can't go in there now. Uh, we're going to do mining stations again. New tradition. Uh, population growth speed plus 10. And then we're going into discovery. Now you could argue that I should finish the, um, the colonization uh, trade tradition. Um, yeah, maybe. But I'd rather go into this one get the anomaly research speed. Because we will be researching all of the anomalies from now on. And we want to increase that. As for the station... We are going to increase this to a starport. I want to make sure that if anything happens, if these guys decide to go to war immediately, which they probably won't because they are lacking influence just as much as we are, it could be something. Now, let's take a quick look. Now, uh, remember that I said uh, trust cap increased by 50. Now, you can see over there, their maximum trust of us is 50 Due to no significant diplomatic deals. Um, this could add up to a hundred. If we took that tradition from the diplomacy tab. Um, by doing trade deals we could offset the opinion of us. Unfortunately it is already at 35. And that new contact thing will go away. And we're going to have... Um, Closed borders, we are border friction, that won't go up to... I think we might even be able to make these guys our friends in the long run. But to do that, we'll have to do trade deals. And we don't have to do them right now, um, because I, I would like to trade an alloy. One alloy for your friendship. And we got a new technology, the Iron Trusters, due to uh, the research job, probably over here. So that's really nice. If you click it, we got Iron Trusters. That's cool. Let's go to Ship Design. Click that. And you can see already the Iron Trusters is here because we have automatically upgraded our ship. You can click this. doesn't do anything. Now, usually I, I would like to change the name to Corf Inter. We have Inter. Claimed a new world. Interceptor. There you go. Interceptor. Let's save that. We're going to get rid of this design. Now, this will just say, you know, out of the Corvettes, this is my Interceptor. Your Interceptor will have three jobs. Um, research that one for now. The other one is going to be Missile Boat and the other one is Picket. And Picket is usually the, the term for your um, anti-missile ships. Now, our colony has been done. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten the, uh, the third one. Definitely going to be somewhere in this region. Um, luckily for you, for us, actually, he is almost done. So let's press the server button again. Like I said, inwards and then we're going to do the exact same thing. But then um, going to the outside. He is one busy bee. And this could generate a ship perhaps for us. Who knows? It'd be very interesting. Uh, but we also want to make sure that our... Um, Naval power is going to be increased. That's why we're building more alloys. So we can actually focus more of our efforts. In, um, in ships. You see you are done. Uh, next tick at the first one. This will go up to 17. Yes we're lacking a bit of energy. Don't worry. Don't worry. We have so much to offset this. So much. 
And we definitely want to make sure that we get more of these uh, ships. Complete. However, we're still waiting for uh, these technologies. And this will generate some research for us. You are done. We could go and do the research things, but I kind of just want to be focusing on systems like these. Uh, reason for it is this is one of the systems that we talked about early on that is defending our territory. So just do that. Do nothing else. This uh, ideological site will get into later. Stri uh, the strike force we're going to hold off on. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry for that. Sometimes so annoying. Talking, talking will get a dry throat. Now. Great, 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 great. Coil guns. Uh, what do we get? So, minerals from miners plus 20%. Flat out 100 on your corvette or mining stations. Hmm. Minerals is important at the moment because we also need to do something about our consumer goods. And we found a artisan troop. This is one of the story, um, story DLC guys. And we can actually do something with it. Uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, later. Not right now. Mining station output plus 10%. And it will also unlock the nebula refinery. Now nebulas uh, you can find on your map by, uh, by these names. This is a nebula. And this is a nebula. Mining station plus 10 is nice. But out of all of these options. Now we're not at war yet. And I'm thinking we could actually befriend these guys. I'll decide to go with minerals from jobs. By 20%. Out of all of these guys. So we are making. Uh, metallurgical jobs. No that's not the one. Mining jobs are producing 18.11. So that will add 4 minerals. To this one. That's quite nice actually. So now we need to wait until we have 30 population. We'll get a generator district. And we do want to worry a bit about our consumer goods. Looking at this planet. There is a new option that we have here. And it's the colony designation. Your colony designation you can add a... Let's say an assignment for your AI. And your AI we will go into focus so you can make it in agricultural so we will focus on food or generator it will focus on energy or mining and it goes on minerals yeah you'll 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 get the drift forge world alloys consumer goods refinery world uh, it's it's for your rare resources your strategic resources what it will do is you can build these resources yourself at the cost of something else. And this planet will just focus on those resources. Technological world, technology, fortress world is... It could be so strong if you have a fortress world. All of these are fortresses and a planetary shield. And those fortresses will count to your naval capacity. It could be really strong, but don't do it with your second planet. Don't do it with your third. Do it with planet 20. Rural, uh, rural world, wow, <laughs> rural world is focusing all of these. Now you could see that there is a bonus. The building speed, but also the worker output plus 5%. All of these have certain pluses. So it is advisable to focus a planet. Also the colony planet... As a focus. Happiness plus 10. But population growth speed plus 20. Hey let's click that. Turn automation on. There is nothing in the stockpile. So nothing will happen. Uh, let's see. A new success. There's the blue lasers. What do we get? Ooh. Hey. That's all. All are very nice. Your research speed will add. 5% to this one and it makes it the strongest option out of all three fusion reactors is for your ships um, If we go to our ship design right now And say auto complete that 
it will change that. We have a surplus of four. Meaning if we get like your um, afterburners, it would probably be a negative. And it would not change unless we get the newest fusion reactor. However, I cannot neglect research speed and I will have to take it. Because that is just flat up 5 for all of these. It is too strong to pass up. This will uh, generate for us, uh, of course, the ships that uh, we want. And now we can actually start just focusing. Oh, God, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Delete you. We haven't seen the ships. So this weapon can always change. Uh, Dudley, you can research. But now we can actually start by upgrading you guys. We are going to add, uh, assign an admiral. Ship weapon range plus 20. Okay, maybe not an admiral right now. Also, this station is now done. So, let us just take a look at you. 51. Um, the fleet has been upgraded to 163. They are still overwhelming. And overwhelming is never good. Now, these guys are not as bad. We can probably make a, uh, a nice tra uh, trade offer. By saying, you know what, well, we uh, we have an alloy here that uh, we are okay with by losing for another 30 uh, years. Uh, we also maybe have a, uh, a mineral or two, adding you up to 42. And I don't want to trade anything else for the next 30 years. This is already quite strong. And you can see a, immediately, favorable trade deal plus 40%. And it's now just 11 we are going to make it in a way that they will be forming um, a research deal with us. Commercial jobs and all of that stuff. Let's do this tradition. We were so going for the discovery trade. So let's click that and we will end this episode. There is the planet that we... Oh my god, it's only just a, a 12. Oh well, well, okay. You can't have everything. There is an alpine world. Oh, so many things to do. Hope you are enjoying yourself. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.